Interview over, Bladis. Oh, come on, Chief. I mean, if it's sensitive, just tell me. I'm not taking notes. We got a body part. We don't know what it is. Probably some kind of hospital debris. We're gonna try and check it out, okay? Now you know as much as we do. Was it male or female? It was a woman's hand. Well, I'm grateful for your candor. And do me a favor, keep this mm -hmm. out of the paper. That dump serves a dozen different communities we don't even know if it's ours. And until we do, I don't want anybody worrying about it. It wasn't frozen, was it, Sergeant? Come on, Michael, get out! This guy's trying to move in. I told you what we know. Anything new, you'll be the first to hear about it. Why did he ask if it was frozen? That I couldn't tell you. And don't worry about any of this crap. By the time you're back, it's gone. Yeah, well, that's all very interesting. But where is the body? I don't know much about this Jennifer girl except what some of the guys have told me. But principal feature of the case was a gruesome display of the body. He wanted it found. So if this is the same guy, why is he hidden this one? Just wondered if you'd had time to get around to my pharmacy stuff. You'll have it in the morning. I'll try again tomorrow, Chief. Probably making him feel a bit antsy seeing this back on the wall. I thought it was Taylor's case. It sucked in offices from all over the county. It was the worst six months this station ever had. Why don't you give it a minute and stop by my office? We should talk. You're pushing this too hard. It's like you want me to say stop. You must know that's the way this is going, John. We got other cases. Why don't you ease up a little? Because this is a major, Chief. And we're closer to this guy than anyone's ever been. Then where's the body? Where's the body and why is he hidden it? He hasn't hidden it. He never made a hit this far north before. He never read a weather forecast. She's probably 15 feet from the highway right now, three feet under the snow. You got a match on the bullet? No. Got a print from the hand? No, sir. Could be anyone's hand. Illegally disposed of hospital debris. It's her hand, it's her scar, it's her dog. Her dog's been shot and she's missing. She's not missing. Did she shout? Did she scream? Did he coerce her? No. She left of her own free will. If she gets on a plane and goes to Peru with the prick, she's still not missing. I love the paint. It's not great art, but I switched the colors. If you're not gonna hear me. I have heard you. You just don't like hearing me. You got this whole damn thing out of proportion. I don't know what you've gotten used to in Los Angeles, but I don't believe there's a police chief in this country that would put together a task force for a body part. We have a multiple homicide. We have a body part under suspicious circumstances. A tailor's dummy wearing a brassiere and a bill for $17 for its wig. Investigation of a possible homicide is never easy. And I hope you're not suggesting any impropriety on the part of my officer. Having said that, this department has no further interest in Miss Robertson. Thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Citrine. I appreciate it. Okay, Chief, just hear me out for one second. I have a vehicle and I have a name. What name? John. What's the vehicle? It's a Volkswagen van. A John in a van. You'll be knocking on doors all over the state. Just give me one more month, Chief. No. Finito Maestro, you're closed. And don't kid yourself, it's got anything to do with him. This thing was over anyway. I'm sorry. I know this means something to you. But I don't want you up at that institute again. I'm flat out about that. Here. Goodrich got it from Amber. It's a postcard. Apparently, she's alive and well and living in Oakland. She's dead, Chief. Then that's a very unique souvenir. Get St. Anne in here for a minute, will you? Give him this. Our blind lady has been attacked again. I guess she's in love with him, Chief. Try anything. Yeah. Now, here I've been nominated as an official observer. It's either you or Taylor. Well, he don't want to do it either. Yeah, well, I'll toss a coin for you, but one of you is going in there today. Bullshit or not, I think you should get a proper statement. That's been done. What do you want to do with it? Let him have it. 